Hi planner friends, welcome back to Golden Papery. And yes, it's been a week since we have gotten or gotten together, get together, but it's been a week. So we are going to do our plan with me series. And this is the technically third week of January if we're talking about Sundays, but I totally forgot that my planning inserts start on Monday. So this is the fourth Monday of um, January. So we are in the fourth week of January. And with that being said, we are going to get started in getting our planning insert ready for the week. And I try to do this on Sundays, but I am running a little bit late on this because I have not been feeling so well. And I'll explain that a little bit. But I know that last week I did not put out a video. So as you recall from two weeks ago, I did mention that I was going to Philadelphia for a work meeting. And obviously we had a crazy freeze happen and now we're dealing with the rain storm and everything. So it's just been a crazy week. Long story short, I flew out on Wednesday, had to come back earlier than expected, even though I was already initially supposed to leave on Tuesday um, because of that winter freeze that happened. It threw off a whole bunch of airlines, and if you are flying out for vacations or important work stuff, you know what I mean. Lots of canceled flights and lots of delayed flights. So... I am happy to be back home. I'm happy to be back in the comfort of my office chair here at home and just, I don't know, getting that time back. I think over socializing yourself can also be a little bit like exhausting. And so that was one of the things that I just, I'm so happy to be here. Um, it was a lot of meetings that we had with the IT department and even though they were very interesting and I got to meet a lot of amazing people from my team, I'm still fairly new to this company. So I still felt kind of like the oddball, um, the outsider, you know, everyone just kind of knew each other already. So yeah, but as you can see here, I do have my sticker book and I was able to bring back some items from my office already since I'm moving out of my downtown office and I'm going to do something probably on my property. Um, I have been trying to look into portable, like tiny homes, tiny offices, and then I decided I was not going to do that. So I'm still going back and forth with it. I'm still deciding whether, you know, where my career is technically going to take me. <laughs> but um, we have our stickers back, so I am going to use the Coffee Monsters Co. laundry sticker here for Saturday because I like to do um, the laundry on Saturday so that Sunday can be just a very chill day, just relaxation happening, and um, I keep forgetting that it's my birthday on Saturday as well, but I'm going to be doing laundry, so nothing new. And then on Monday, and I'm, I decided to do something different this week where I add the stickers first instead of adding like the items um i don't know it just makes it feel full and already productive and, and getting everything scheduled so i know that one of the things that i always did in the past was um write everything down first and then decorate it but lately i have been feeling a little bit um exhaustive with my planning and so even though it feels like I've already been doing the most minimal that I need to I decided to condense my planner so I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last video but I decided to condense my work and home planner and just the one personal Filofax planner um, that was just a personal decision to be honest I just could could not get used to the Hobonichi so I still have it, I'm still trying to use it, but I think the paper and the pens that I have are making me very, um, not anxious, but just, um, I guess it's just too much for me. 
it's smearing all over the place. Um, and so it ends up becoming something that I can't read. So I still need to work on that. And I will definitely see other videos um, on recommendations. I have my stickers album. I have my weekend sticker back and it's beautiful because now I can actually add it onto the um, the second page of the planning insert and that is the weekend so I can see visibly that it's Saturday and Sunday. Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned this yet, but everything that you see in my video for planning is available under the description of this video. And uh, this planning insert is from Kina Prints, which I absolutely love. I have several planning inserts from her already and I love every single one of them. But this one actually has been one of my absolute favorites because it has that space to kind of just add a sticker. And then it has the task priorities and habit tracker on the side and i don't for some odd reason i feel like the space and layout of the lines work perfectly in this layout so i don't know if there's just more room for it but it definitely feels a little bit bigger um so yeah that i really do like that then some of the upcoming Things that I'm trying to think about are, um, you know, there's games on Sunday. We still got football games happening and we're getting close to uh, finding out who's going to get or who's going to be on the Super Bowl. But unfortunately, my favorite team did not make it. I know I'm a Cowboys fan. Very sad. Don't hate on me. I get it. I feel I feel all the sadness from that. <laughs> it's a very toxic relationship that we have. But um, yeah, I've just been trying to focus my mindset on being more minimal. And as I mentioned in my earlier videos, you know, trying to be more intentional with the things that I do. I know that, you know, whenever new years happen, we want to think about, oh, like, what, is, what are the new year's resolutions that we want to do? But honestly, this year, I just want to take some time to just be more intentional. And my statement has been seek God first. And that is something that I'm still working on. It's not all the time that I'm seeking God first. And that is something that I personally have to dig deep into my heart and focus on, um, Oh, it just started raining. <laughs> but I just, I need to focus on seeking him first and reading more of my Bible. I do have some Bible reading plans um, that I try to do, at least on the mornings where it's not super busy. Um, and if you guys have not checked it out, I highly recommend HosannaRevival.com. They have some really great Bible books or Bible study books. So definitely check that out. So I also have my other sticker book and it's so funny because I got this sticker book, um, which kind of reminds me of the Mean Girls and the Mean Girls movie just came out, but this was purchased on Etsy and it includes all of my other stickers that I had in container boxes. So I was able to finally put them in a sticker album. You can see my Kina print sticker here. And then I do have a variety of different um, small business stickers shops that I keep in this uh, album as well. So I purchased this church sticker on Etsy. Um, it's super simple, but I really like how simple it is. It just says church. And then I can highlight what I have going on specifically for those days. Now, if you guys are like me, you know that sometimes things just kind of come up throughout the week and it, they are things that you did not um, plan for. So you want to make sure that you also keep some space in your planner for... Um, 
you know, for little items, notes that you want to do. What I always see also from other like planner users, you know, use sticky notes and post-its and, and the ones that I personally love are the cloth and paper transparent post-its. Um, and there's a specific pen that I like to use with it, but it's the perfect way to still see your planner in the background, but then also get that, um, extra space to add in more notes. So yes, definitely use that. Or you can also, um, cover up one of the, or half of the task section in this planner insert, which I have not done yet, but I probably will be doing in the future, just because I have noticed that typically I have only like about five to six different tasks every week. So it's not like I'm taking up the whole entire space. And then in my last video, I also mentioned that I don't necessarily know what I'm going to do under the priority section. And I still need to look up some ideas on how other people use that. But yeah, I just need to go back to that because I still haven't even taken time to look at that. It's been such a busy week. But now that we're done adding some stickers, we're going to get right into the planning. So lots of things happening for my company. We still are doing a marketing campaign for, or I guess social media management for a campaign and elections are coming up. Elections for that political candidate are basically in about a month. And that means that it's go time, super busy. We want to make sure that we keep people not only active on Facebook and Instagram and all of their social media um, platforms, but getting them connected with like their go-to tasks, right? What, what things do they still need to do from their side to get the most voters for their campaign? So that's what I'm concentrating on. And then also I do have another project that I'm working on, which is like very minimal data analyst work. It involves a lot of Google Sheets. So if you guys are great Google Sheets um, experts, there are jobs out there that will pay you to get things done for them. So that's another project. But we also have our Wednesday Bible study. We've been studying the books of the Bible. And I feel bad because I feel like I'm not able to get really into it or slash have enough time to read the Bible for that study week. And so I do feel like it's going pretty quickly and it's more like high level summary of the Bible. Um, so I'm still trying to work with that. I think it also does not help that I have to be in the back so that we can stream the service since I'm part of that team. And so personally, I just feel like I'm not getting fed at the moment and I need to figure out how I can balance that. Um, not only volunteering at the church, but also making sure that I'm spiritually being fed. But we do have a dream team meeting happening on Sunday. So I made sure to add that there, which is after church slash noon. And then... Other things that are happening are, like I said, I started to combine my work items. So my full-time job are, is also on this planner. So I do have some uh, meetings and then I do have some lunches with friends this week and they are friends from my church and um, yeah, they're amazing. So I have, I have a lunch on Monday and then I do also have a lunch on Friday. So to be totally honest, having lunch right now is not or has not been like my favorite thing to do. Um, as you guys know, I've been having some health issues and gratefully or thankfully, I was able to get the answer of what the issue was and I am taking medication for that. But this medication makes me very nauseous, so keeping food down has been a struggle. Um, but I have to take that medication until the second week of February. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, but I do have lunches. And even if that means that I eat something small, the most important part of these lunches are to get that social connection with people that 
really want to talk to you and just, you know, pour out their emotions and feelings, especially um, because we all go to the same church. It's been great to not only connect with them on a personal level, but on a spiritual level. So that's been amazing. And then I do also have, let's see, um, we're doing a, an implementation meeting for, I mean, we're implementation of a system, which is ISIMS at work. And um, I know that we do have those meetings coming up, but I'm not sure if they have updated that calendar invite. But either way, it's still on here for Tuesday. And then um, I do have some other meetings for the rest of the week that includes uh, summer hiring. So we're already getting ramped up for summer hiring, and I obviously need to design the back-end dashboard work on that. So yeah, very busy. I'm also trying to see how I, since I'm going to now include my Filofax planner with the um, my work items, I think I'm going to section one of the dividers to include projects and meetings. So I do have some projects right now and I want to be able to track that. Um, I do use ClickUp, which is a project management system that I'm also able to see on my phone, but I would love to still track that on paper. It's just better to kind of track things on paper so that you can add more personal notes. Um, my thing that I like to do is I get a notebook and just write down like what I'm working on, formulas, um, whenever I have meetings, I also jot down any like information that they give me. So yeah, that is one of the ways that has severely helped me in finalizing some of these projects, but I don't have that in this, in this, um, you know, planner yet. So stay tuned. I will be adding a projects and meeting section on my planner. And then Saturday, as I mentioned, is my birthday. So fun, but at the same time, not so fun. I keep forgetting that it's my birthday and it, I think it's my mind not wanting to remember that it's my birthday um, because one, you're getting older and I do not mind getting older because I feel like there's been more clarity as time has gone by. There's actually this one thing in my mind that I've had that I wanted for this birthday and um yeah i'm still thinking about it but it's also my aunt's birthday so it's always fun sharing your birthday with someone and i'm gonna make sure that i get her a present and ship it out to her so that it can get there on time and um we are doing our task for this week which is definitely purchase a present for my aunt and i want to get something that'll be personal but also um, something that'll, that she'll be able to use. And then I also need to, um, review some of the, some of the expenses that I have for, um, my vehicle. So let me see, checking my calendar here, but also I am trying to purchase a Valentine's day gift. So I don't know why, but I've been feeling very emotional and just very connected with um, my family. And I think that's only like from my side, like that's not coming from them, right? It's one-sided right now. But I would like to purchase a small Valentine's gift for my daughter and then also something for my husband. Now that doesn't mean that I'm going to get something in return, but it would be kind of nice to just get a little bit of love um, even if it's on one day, like a little special Valentine's day. Um, and then we do have some teacher Valentine's gifts that we're going to hand out for my daughter's teachers. So they're going to be just so excited for that. Um, I know that they love it when they get, um, gifts and, uh, they're always just so grateful for it. But I'm like, nope, nope, you deserve this. Like you guys have to deal with a lot, <laughs> but yeah, so that is this week's planning, and I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to just put this back into my planner, as you can see, but 
lots of things happening for this year. I am going to be doing a January um, finance roll up for this month, probably in two weeks. Yeah, it'll be like in two weeks once we get the month finished. And um, yeah, that'll give you guys some of the back end pieces from my home life of what I'm tackling, um, trying to get that financial freedom. And it's been a little bit tough in the way that, um, you know, you have to really think about like what you're truly saving for and the purpose. And it's not going to be a quick gratification. So definitely some changes that have been going on there, but good changes. So this is the planner, y'all. What do you think? I think it looks beautiful and I can't wear I can't wait to use this for this week. And um, as always, thanks for watching this video and we will see you to the next time. Bye.